and let's start the, the good work. I'll switch on a snap setting. Let's go for eight knots. And um, so I'll pick up my scissors and cut out the eighth note position. Create lots of little drum pads. Here are all the drum parts, the different segments. So now we've got the all these segments and um, we can have a look at them. With some of them the key point is the 16th node into the actual segment and um, if I was to pick this one up now keep an eye on the key point see the key point here um, this line there will make the segment move so that the key point is actually on, um, on a 16th node if I want to move this forward it goes back to to like on the beat and so on so um, having the key point on um, a 16th note into the segment doesn't actually help. So what I'll do is I'll select all of these and change the key point for all of them at the same time. The key points have moved forward. See, um, whenever you do changes on, on many events at the same time, the info line, the um, values in the info line go blue, light blue, and uh, you can change the, um, you can change the um, values for them all in one go. So now, if I now move the parts around, I can just take them, drag them, and um, this is the nice thing about the audio editor. So I like this part there. I might want to um, make a copy of this one. I can select all of these parts in one go, just mute them in one go as well. And then whatever this one is, I don't know what it is. Let's just put them over there. Let's move them again. You can mute bits here. Let's see what we've got. snare drum and then let's see whether I can find something higher to that one so I'll move that one down there copy the higher across again and, um, and if I now delete these bits here I've created a um, one bar loop. This is um, one bar. I can um, I can now select all of these here and mute them. Notice that when you select some that which are muted and others which aren't muted, then then muting them will unmute some and mute some others again. So I've muted all of these here, and now I'll pick up those and make a copy of them down here for example, down there, another copy and another copy. Now you can see what the lanes are there for. Now it's very easy to move um, elements or segments up and down in the in the view. And I've created a new drum groove. Whistle 120. Let's play it with the arranger. <laughs> And whether you think it goes with the bass part, that's up to you to decide. It takes um, a bit listening to, so maybe we could we could modify it. Maybe we need to delete the second one out of each. I mean, 
it's up to you really how you want to play around with the grooves. As you can see, I've played a little bit around with the with the groove, and this is my result. Simply by just spending a little bit more time and finding a few parts that, that I liked. And if I go back into the tunnel mixer again and switch on the um, the gate. Use this as a as a um, as a basis, and then record maybe a hi hat figure on top of that one. Let's try that. Or well, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the original um, drum loop, and I'm going to add the original loop to the edited loop. So here we've got the edited drum loop with all the cuts and everything. So I'm going to set up a new track, call it um, sort of drum loop two. Um, we need a stereo track, so let's select, I'm not quite sure, let's select number 9, stereo, let's go for the audio pool, there's our drum loop, let's do this, and pick up the loop and drop in the arrangement, let's quickly solo it and play it, that's the original loop, let's mix it with the edited one. Now this gets very busy. So what I'll do is for the um, drum loop 2, I'm going to into my channel mixer again. Select the EQ, go for a low cut, and turn off the, um, the, um, the low frequency. So if I solo this one, I'm just left with high frequency material, which I could um, emphasize as well, and combined with the other one. I get a nice, nice saucy groove going. This is the groove on its own. And I've already got a reverb set up, maybe we could just Send it through the reverb, which might be a bit too long for the time being, but just as an experiment. This might be better still. And then finally I want to show you what you can do with cycler recording um, with audio material. So cycler is switched on. Uh, set up a new track. I want to record some new bass figures. I may as well use the same channel. Um, any first, and then I go for channel three. Call it um, new bass. New bass, and um, I'll set up a two-bar loop for the time being. <laughs> 